Hey there, YouTube. Matt Williams, Matt Williams Golf. Just going to do a little video today for you. Um, if you've been watching any of my previous videos, you know there's a few different golfers that I am following for this year's playing of the Masters. Uh, I did a previous video, a uh, what's in his bag video for Lee Westwood. And now what I thought I'd do is a what's in his bag uh, preview for John Rahm. One of my favorite golfers. He's doing very, very well in the Masters so far. He's off to a rip-roaring start. Doing really great. So this video is going to be a what's in his bag video featuring the sticks and the equipment that John Rahm is using in this year's playing of the Masters. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Maybe click the bell for notifications. And if you're really curious and you are enjoying this content of uh, featuring John, what's in John Rahm's bag, make sure you, know, you also smash that like button. As we go through this video, one thing I'd encourage you to do, if there are some of these clubs that you yourself are using or they're in your bag, go ahead and comment in the comments section and tell me what, uh, what clubs you're using that may, might be the same clubs that John Rahm is using. I'd be really interested to see what it is that you're playing with uh, if it's any of this tailor-made lineup. All right, so let's dive into this here. Let's start with the driver that John Rahm is using. Now, it should come as no surprise that everything is tailor-made because as you know, he's a tailor-made sponsored player. So uh, everything in his bag is tailor-made, no big shocker there. But there's still a wide variety of different clubs that he could be playing that are in the tailor-made lineup. So let's start with driver. He's using the tailor-made sim driver. I believe he's playing with a 10 and a half degree loft. It's so interesting the trend that was going in golf, uh, not only in professional golf, but us amateurs, we always wanted to start going down to a nine and an eight, you know, or an eight and a half degree. Some guys even trying to get down to a seven or whatever. These really low lofted thought they'd get way more distance and all that. But yet we're seeing more and more of a trend of golfers using a real standard like nine, nine and a half, ten, ten and a half degree driver. And John Rahm falls into that category as well. That sim that he's playing, I believe, is a ten and a half degree driver. And... Uh, yeah, seems to be working out pretty well for him because he is one of the big hitters on tour. From there, we go down to his fairway woods. He usually is rocking two fairway woods, and he's using the TaylorMade Sim fairway woods. I believe he's got a 15-degree and a 19-degree fairway wood in his bag. So sticking with that Sim lineup, he's got the Sim fairway woods in his bag. From there, we go down to his irons, and this one I thought was really interesting for the Masters, it appears that he's playing the TaylorMade P750 irons. Now, uh, why did I find that interesting? Well, TaylorMade has been releasing a lot of irons uh, over the last couple of years and, and coming out with really popular iron sets, but yet John seems to be sticking with the P750s. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? I guess that might be the mentality because I believe those irons are about three years old or so. Certainly at the time when uh, TaylorMade released them, they were really designed for tour players and, and except, you know, really good low handicap players. Um, and John falls into that category, obviously. But uh, yeah, so he goes from a four to a pitching wedge in his iron, uh, in his bag for his irons. Um, gosh, does he have a three iron in there? I don't remember. But yeah, he's going with the P750s, several year old iron. He really seems to like it a lot and <laughs> seems to be working out pretty well for him. From there, he goes to three wedges. And I love these wedges because they're also in my bag. They're the TaylorMade MGs or the TaylorMade Milgrind 2 wedges. And I believe he's got a 52, a 56, and a 60, which ironically, oh, that's not what I have in my bag. I go 50 degree then 56, 60. Well, he, uh, like most golfers, uh, more traditional 52, 56, and 60 degree. And I'm not sure exactly what bounce he's playing with on those, but let me just tell you from experience, those wedges are freaking sweet. They're the ones where the face uh, still is rust, starts rusting a little bit. And um, he loves those wedges. He can get them to spin a lot. His bunker play is fabulous. Um, so... Yeah, he is playing those TaylorMade MG2s, and that is a spectacular uh, wedge series. I love it, and it looks like he loves it too. For the putter, he goes with the TaylorMade Spider X Chalk version. 
and that's what he's put, putting with. Uh, great, great putter. Very The Spider Series is obviously a very, very popular putter. He's doing the chalk version. Um, gorgeous looking putter as well. Um, but yeah, that's the putter that he's putt with. And then for the ball, he's going with the TaylorMade TP5 golf ball. And that's what he's uh, playing with. And again, all of that equipment seems to be working out really, really well. Again, no surprise. It's an all TaylorMade lineup because he's a TaylorMade golfer. So uh, yeah, but that's what he selected. I, I think the most intriguing one for me was that he's still on the P750 irons. Um, that he hasn't elected to go with something a little bit newer. Anyways, that, my friends, is what's in his bag. That is what's in the bag for John Rahm. He's off to a crazy good start in this year's playing of the Masters. Let's hope that he can keep it up. I'm going to be rooting for him. But we know now, as you're watching him on TV, if you didn't already, that's the equipment he's, he's using. Again, in the com make sure you uh, hit that like button on this video. And in the comment section, if you play any of those clubs, comment in the comment section what it is that you're hitting that might be the same clubs that John Rahm is hitting. Anyways, till next time, everybody. Talk to you guys later.